Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome, welcome to another video with me and Lavinia Stamps. The theme for the creative challenge with Lavinia this month is Glitter Flurry. So I've created this card as a bit of inspiration for you. Look at the glitter. We've got Tia playing in this magical forest with these mini orbs all filled with glitter. The glitter that I'm going to use is this eco-friendly glitter called Star Brights. The one that I've got is Fairy Tales. It's lots of blues and purples. There are three different glitters, different sizes, different textures in each of these little bottles, and they are eco-friendly. So that's my glitter. I've got stamp wise, I've got the wreath flourish left, the wreath flourish right. <laughs> I've got orchard grass peeking out at the bottom here. I've got the fairy bell set. I've got starlights, which are these lovely ones here. I've got wildflower and the mini orbs and the mini dots. I'm also using white orb stencil. I've got titanium white pan pastels. That's what's given me this orbs around the edge. And the colours that I'm going to be using in Distress Oxides to create our background, we've got Mustard Seed, Prize Ribbon, Seedless Preserve and Chipped Sapphire. So that's what's creating us this dramatic frame. In terms of stamping, I've got Twilight, Morning Mist for these ones, Medieval Blue, for the orbs and the dots and then to create us a bit of colour in our foliage I've got purple delight and charming pink. I've got a couple of brushes, Posca pen, my spritzy bottle, the size of my card is 14 centimetres by 14 centimetres. This is normal multifarious cardstock, it's not watercolour card. We will get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our three colours in Distress Oxide, Mustard Seed, Price Ribbon and Seedless Preserve and we're going to smush a bit on our mat. And I'm going to spritz it with some water just enough to make a wash. Taking my number one brush, I am going to mop all of that ink up and just create a little circle in the centre of my card. Wash off my brush. And then I'm going to repeat it for my prize ribbon and my seedless preserve. Now you can see that's not a perfect circle and that's okay. We don't want it to look too symmetrical. Fabulous. I'm not even gonna wash off my brush in between these two because they are in the same color family, right next to each other on the color wheel. And just have a little play. It's really quite relaxing because you can't get it wrong here. There we have. Fabulous. I'm going to clean all this off. I like to clean my brushes straight away, dry them off. I'm going to dry this with my heat gun and come back to you. Fabulous. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our wreath flourishes just to give us some centre point in our card. I'm going to take Twilight. And I'm going to bring this one in from the left. And 
then I'm going to bring this one in on the right. This is the one she's going to be sitting on. Now, if you don't have both of these, don't worry. You can just turn your card around and use the same one. It'll look slightly different, but that's okay. And then we're going to add a few of the extra little, this lovely curly flourish at the bottom. We're just going to add that at the bottom of this lovely flower filled garden underneath tier. I'm going to go back to the one on the other side. I'm still using Twilight. Just so that we've got some uniformity throughout the card. Okay, fabulous. As you know, I like to clean my stamps off straight away. That way, if you need to use it again, you need to place it. You know it's clean. And then we're going to bring in our gorgeous tear. Still with twilight. She's pretty solid stamp, so I was just making sure that she's well inked. And then I'm just going to sit her on this lovely flourish. I've sat her to the left of the card so that we've got some space to have this glitter flurry on this side happening. And now... I am just going to play with all nature of foliage at the bottom and bring my Spanish moss down from the top. I'm going to start with my Spanish moss. And I'm still going to use Twilight. So I've got this dramatic effect framing the card. varying the heights. Leaving a bit of a space in the middle of the card, that's where our orbs are going to float into the distance. So you want a bit of a space in the middle there. going to play with the bottom here. It doesn't matter where you start. I'm going to start with the starlight set, the small little, um, look at this gorgeous stamp. And I'm actually going to stamp it in morning mist. This is a bit of a grey colour. If you didn't have it, you could use Nocturne second generation and that will give you a similar effect. Now I'm going to start in the centre there because I wanted to make sure that I got these gorgeous little decorative pieces in the centre there. And I'm just going to carry these through the bottom of the card. Always at different heights so that you're going to get these lovely little extensions here peeping through all the other foliage that we're going to place on top. So that's my starlight set and then I'm going to take my fairy bell set. I'm just using the smallest one from that and I'm going to use Charming Pink. 
just to create a bit of colour at the bottom of our card. I'm just going to pop three in there. And then one of the first stamps that I ever, ever bought was this lovely wild flower. It looks like it's just stunning. And I'm going to go in with Purple Delight. giving it almost its full height here. So if you don't have the exact same stamps as I do, no worries. Choose any from your stash, but what you want to do is make sure you've got a variety. So here, I've got some really light, delicate pieces. I've got something a bit bolder, something even a different contrast, because if you look at a flower bed, that's often what makes it even more interesting. The textures, the contrast. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is bring in my orchard grass. And again, I'm going to go in with my morning mist. Because with this one, I just wanted the texture. Look, the lovely fluffy pieces of that grass. And I'm going to pop this at the bottom so it's peeking out through any, just like grass does, right? It manages to find a space to grow when you didn't think there was any space left in your garden. Fabulous. So now we've got really interesting things happening there at the bottom of our card. I'm just going to pop these all away so that I know where I am. So there it is, it's coming together, our little design here. And now the next thing I'm going to do is take my chipped sapphire and create this gorgeous contrast around our card. If you wanted it to stay nice and bright, you can skip this step. I'm using a piece of acetate so that I don't um, mark my work with my fingers, which have got a bit of that on them. So I'm using my smoothie. I kind of like to squish it. That way I've got control over how hard I'm pressing, how much space there is on the sponge. And I love using these for the edges, particularly. So, as I said, you want to be bold here because this is what's going to give us that dramatic look to the whole card.
So here we have it. I'm now going to take my white orb stencil and I'm using pan pastels. I've got titanium white and this is so much fun because this is what's going to give us these lovely magical little orbs around the edge of the card. So I'm just taking my little tool here and I'm going to create some little circles in and amongst that dark purple shading that we've just done. So you want some of these orbs to be going off the page. All the way around the card like that. Now I'm just going to blow. There's a bit of excess powder here, so I'm just going to blow. lightly dust it. If you do it too hard, you will scrape some of that pan pastel across your card. And that's not really what you want. So look, you get this magical little look. That if you used paint or something like that would be a lot harsher. So now I'm going to splatter with my white paint. Any acrylic white paint will do. Mine's a bit thick, so I'm just going to water it down a bit. So I've just got a piece of copy paper that I cut more or less to the size of that circle in the centre there. And then I'm just going to splatter it. is not that's it wasn't watery enough so I wasn't getting enough splatters so you can see my circle is not perfect here it was a bit sort of I just cut it more or less leaving that center piece just going to clean all this off so now I'm going to take medieval blue and my mini orbs and I'm just going to pop a few of these as if she's just holding her hand out, letting them float up and you can see I just turned it so that they're not all oriented in the same way. That was medieval blue. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Posca pen and do a couple of little dots in the centre of this flowers here on my wild flower. And then I'm going to take my mini dots and I'm just going to pop these throughout the centre. Like that. I might just put one over here. That's it. And then the bit that gets everywhere... <laughs> Is our glitter. So I'm going to take my piece of copy paper, fold it in half, because that means that when I put it back into my jar, it's easier to create that funnel. I'm going to use fairy tales 
in this Eco Glitter Star Bright. Oh, look at it. It's gorgeous. There are three different glitters in here, different sizes, different textures. Fabulous. So I'm going to use my... Oh, yes, that's what to do. That's why you don't take the lid off until you're really ready to use it. But I was so excited. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take my quickie glue pen and just colour in some of these orbs. Not right to the edges because I want to see the stamping around it. So that this glitter just sits in the centre. And then I'm going to dot it in and around these dots. Voila. Look at it. It's just stunning, this glitter. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Just going to take a brush. I don't necessarily want the glitter over tear. But of course, with this much glitter flurry happening, it would be okay if she was covered in glitter. And you know what? I'm just going to pour a bit so if there's anything still sticking. Oh, wow. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that shiny, glittery piece here. There we have it. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to see what you make. Bye for now.